Hi there. So um, we are going to start YouTubing a lot more. I already hate that I've used YouTubing as a verb. We're going to start doing this a lot more. Lucy and I had a discussion yesterday about what we do here at Johnny Decimal HQ and we have decided that we're going to put a lot more energy into YouTube. And how that's going to work is I'm just going to show my working. I'm just going to basically, as much as I possibly can, do what we do in this office in public on this channel. And so here's just some quick notes about the sorts of thing you might expect. This is just like a, a bit of an introduction. This is me testing that my microphone works and that this is all um, going to work. It's just going to be me on my computer. Here we are in the office. So the sorts of things, and I'm just going to literally show how I work. You're going to see everything here. We've, we've decided to be, um, to care a little bit less about the polish, I think, and a bit more about content, just getting things out there for you to see. So here's the sorts of things that we are going to talk about. Um, What's this note? So I've got Apple Notes on my screen here. What is this and what's all this stuff at the top of this note? This is a fairly new development. Actually, it's not really. I'm just using a different app. Anyway, um, I'm not going to talk about this stuff now. This is just an idea of the sort of stuff I'm going to talk about. Uh, this note is D85.2311. Why is that? How did I decide on that? Uh, where are we? We're in our home office here. This is our house. This is where we work. And how this video series will work. There's a whiteboard there that you might have seen if you've seen the workshop or some of the other YouTube videos. Um, uh, Lucy and I sometimes just work out in the back garden. Uh, yep, bit of that. Um, this is in no particular order. Apple Notes tags feature. Lordy, I, <laughs> I'm trying, I'm not trying to, I am. I'm using Apple Notes as my index because it is shared in this system. D85 is the Johnny Decimal Business System and Lucy and I need to share an index. And so my beloved bear, unfortunately, doesn't do shared things. Notes does. I, uh, I will reserve judgment for later for another video. Um, it's yeah, it's fine. It's interesting. Um, so tags and how I'm using tags in Apple notes, uh, using a note in its own windows. Account. Okay. So all these things here, all the, what I've got here is a bunch of notes open. I'm actually reorganizing a whole bunch of my life at the moment. So these are the four key to-do systems. We'll get onto that later. But how, and then here's a note that's open, which is also this note open in Apple Notes window. The thing I want to do with Apple Notes is I find it interesting to think about how you can use the most minimally functional app, no offense, Apple Note. I know some people really like it. I think it's fine. But the point is, it's not meant to do this and it doesn't really have any special features. But here I am trying to shoehorn Johnny Decimal Index into it because I figure if you can do it in Apple Notes, you can do it in anything. Uh, so I like this um, opening a note in its own window, which kind of allows you to use it as a bit of a focus. I'll talk about that more. I'll explain what I mean. Using Timery, I really like this. So I'm not a time tracker. Um, I just think you do what you do mostly and I don't ever look the times I've tracked time I don't look back at that time and do anything with it so you think well, what's what's the point tracking it but what I do find very interesting this is timery hang on let me get my own screen up so I can see that you can see that this is timery and that is has an iPhone widget which shows you the current running timer and here it is on the desktop and it's up there in my menu bar and it's got a really nice dark mode view on the iPad. So there's a few interesting things here. The most interesting I think because what I'm what I'm trying to think about is how to think about being focused at work, how to think about not being distracted all the time, how to think about not sitting down to do one thing and finding yourself some indeterminate time later just doing something completely different and you look back and you're like what on earth happened there um i do it all the time it happens to me all the time and so i'm trying with timers it's more about what i'm doing now it's more an indication to me hey you you're working on 2311 which is this youtube series 
that said, this view, which is the last day or so, is really nice because those uh, blue is the Johnny Decimal website. That was yesterday. I did a whole bunch of work on the website, mostly dark mode. And orange is the D85 Johnny Decimal business project. Again, all this will be explained in tortuous detail later. Um, and But I just quite like that. That's quite a nice view and indication of what you've been doing. So anyway, I'll go into a lot more detail on that. Um, NFC tags, this might be fun. Here is an NFC tag. Do you know you can buy these from Amazon for no money? And then you can tap it with your phone and it can trigger a shortcut. Um, so I'm going to play with those about, um, yeah, linking with timery and starting and stopping timers. I'm going to fiddle with that. Bear versus Notes versus Obsidian versus Notion and all the different apps and why I'd like it not to matter which one you choose and hence why I'm using Notes, but we will dive into Obsidian. I want to get Lucy to launch Obsidian. Um, I've actually had an idea for a long time about a bear course. Here's Bear, my beloved bear. Bear's a bit of a mess at the moment, excuse me. But um, I've got some really heavy notes about a bear course and how specifically you can use it to manage your Johnny Decimal system. And it's really, really nice. Uh, so I think I'm, I was gonna record and sell that as a course, but I think I'm just gonna do it here. Um, Building my own app. I want to build my own app one day. I need to find time to do it, but I've got some ideas about that that I might throw out, maybe sketch some thoughts and you can give me some feedback. A large part of this is about feedback. I'd like to, I'd like, <laughs> I'd like this to be a conversation, but I would, I, I need to know what you need. And if you tell me what you need, I will make it for you. Slowing down, how ironic this is the next one. I know I can talk quickly, but this is not about this is about the idea that when you go to find something these days on your computer, I, for sure, if I can't find it immediately, the frustration is instant and you just, and you think it's lost, it's lost, it's not there, what's going to happen? And I think a big part of this, and it's to do with these timers and trying to do one thing at a time and not doing 20 things at a time, it's just about slowing down. So. I'm going to try and get you to chill out. Uh, different patterns. We've got a whole bunch of ideas of different. Johnny Decimal is a system and it's on the website. And that is like the canonical system, you know, as as per, let's show you, ba, 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 where's our stuff now? So this is, you know, a basic Johnny Decimal system, right? With numbers, areas, categories, and IDs, bog standard. But there are some things that it doesn't work for. There are some situations where you need to extend it in different ways. So we'll talk about those. Uh, the, there's the creative agency pattern where you produce a lot of output, like what we're doing right now. There is a there is a web page about that already. Did I blog that? No, I actually put a new page at 15 or two. Um, I'll just read numbers out. By the way, just in case you don't know, you can just do J decimal slash 15 or two, and I'll get you straight there. Thanks to my Albanian short link, which I really enjoy. Uh, so we'll talk a lot about STEM patterns and things. What's it like at work? Oh God. Uh, what's it as in knowledge management, as in trying to find things? Uh, it's horrible and chaos. And I would like, very much like to get into helping people at work. I think most people at the moment do this at home. But if you've got a job, you understand how bad it is at most organizations. And I know it's hard to change, but I'd really like to try. So. If you have any problems, you could, um, I'll, I'll help you, right? If you can send me an anonymized screenshots, whatever, we'll work on that. Managing to do's, this is a huge thing. I've been talking with Lucy about um, how to, how to manage your to do's, how to literally just, how to get stuff, how to get stuff done. Um, I've got this little idea. Um, I had this thing where, I know I'm all over the place. This video is not an embodiment of remaining videos. This is just a, Welcome video. Um, I had this terrible habit of saying, hey Siri, when I get, oh, the HomePod's gonna respond. Hey Siri, when I get home, remind me to, you know, do something, something. Because unless I say when I get home or in one hour, hey Siri, stop. Yes, so I did that sort of thing because otherwise if I just put a reminder into reminders, I'd never see it again. I had no confidence that I would see it again. So I've just come up recently with this little idea of my default reminders list is called inbox. You can just rename it. 
And the idea is, and there's a widget on my home screen there, and if this is timery, that's nice. Um, if there is anything in here, there needs not to be. So I can just say, hey, Dingus, remind me of a thing, and it will go in the inbox. And as soon as I see inbox here, then I know that I need to put that in a better place. So I'm just playing with that for now. That is like a two day old idea. Um, live call-ins, let me help you solve your problem. Yes, please, nothing's off the table. Suggestions, please. You can mail me, hello at johnnydecimal.com or uh, we'll turn comments on below. We'll check out all the comments. Using widgets and focus modes more effectively. We've talked about that, showing the inbox widget on my desktop, I've done that. Working in a shared environment like I do with Lucy. Uh, handling shared files, sharing an index, we'll talk about all that. Um, physical documents, I had cause to file some stuff the other day. It's in, a, it's in a thing in the cupboard. I'll just show you how I do that. What don't we use? We don't use things like Microsoft Word and why I taught Lucy how to use Markdown. I assume most of my audience leans towards the nerd. I assume you're all Markdown people um, and understand that Microsoft Word is a scourge. But hey, who knows? Let me know. Um, it turns out, by the way, Apple's Pages is really nice. It's really, really good. Working the decimal way is a thing that we've got in the workbook and it's about being consistent and things like once you're in a folder, naming files, having consistent strategies for archiving things and all that sort of stuff. I'll talk about that. Um, here at the office, our internal discussion. So Lucy and I, we're building this system that you're looking at here, D85, and we it's not just, it's like this thing about going slowly. Everything doesn't just fall into place, not even here. There is so much information. It's, it's hard and complex. And we have discussions. We'll stop and we'll have a chat and I'll crack open the whiteboard and I'll, you know. So I'll walk you through some of those thought processes that, so thought processes that we have. Uh, the fact that we're not perfect. Um, we're nowhere near finished with this and this is an evolving thing and this whole Johnny Decimal system is why I quit my job to do it so that I could have the time to actually think about it uh, which is what I do all day which is amazing and uh, the fact that we're trying to simplify how we work we're not doing all of social media this was triggered by us putting a couple of TikToks up and I'm like I'm 47 right what on earth do I know about TikTok? Uh, absolutely nothing. And so we didn't enjoy that. And then we realized, hang about. YouTube's the most obvious. It's information dense. You can see my whole screen. I'm not going to worry about this being 15 seconds long because that's your attention span. I'm just going to deliver information as densely as I can. And that's it. So that's the idea. Obviously, I just typed this out. Now we had this idea to do YouTube yesterday. I put my camera here this morning. I put this microphone on me half an hour ago. Uh, this, will pro <laughs> this will probably get better. Um, but for now, this is the idea. Let me know what you need and we will give it to you. We'll see you within a couple of days. We're going to burn these out real quick. Okay, thanks.